Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenstead. It's time for another build. I'm going to try something a little new, or at least new to me. I'm going to build some terrain out of hardwood charcoal. It's going to be a mess, but it should be pretty interesting. Why don't you watch over my shoulder, and let's get something made. Alright, let's get into this build. I wanted to uh, clean up the ends of this charcoal so I'd have a good surface to glue in. I have this little craft uh, saw, miter saw. It didn't do a very good job. It uh, just broke the charcoal into pieces, so I went over to the bandsaw and uh, just made a couple of quick cuts here. I'm being careful, don't worry. And that did the trick. Then I decided to go ahead and coat the pieces of charcoal with some polyurethane spray, and that really locked down all the dust. Made it a lot easier. That base turned out to be a little too small, so I cut a 4 by 5 inch base. I'm just going to roll in a little texture here on the factory surface and then trace out where I want to have these rocky spires coming out and then kind of an organic shape to the base. I use a craft knife here, don't worry, I don't cut myself. I'm just going to trim this down, get the shape that I want, and I'll texture those edges a little later with a wire brush. Here I just wanted to get another level. So I cut out a section. It's nice to have, you know, multiple levels. And uh, try and cut these out big enough for uh, the base of a miniature to fit on there. So I was a little uh, dubious about how well these would adhere to the foam. Ended up not being a problem. I used plenty of hot glue. Uh, again, some of it kind of squirts out. And, you know, you could fiddle around with it but I just leave it and then hide it with some foliage later. So you can always hide those little uh, mistakes here and there. Little smaller pieces of charcoal. This stuff is surprisingly heavy. It's hardwood charcoal. So it, the, this piece is a lot heavier than all foam pieces. And we're just gonna black bomb this in with some latex paint and Mod Podge. And that'll kind of lock in all the fuzzy parts of the foam and give the uh, charcoal a little bit more strength. Do a little dry brushing here. That's a light gray. and Just trying to preserve a lot of those shadows in there. And being mindful of you know where my light sources are coming from. So up in the kind of little cave there, I really didn't do too much dry brushing. And uh, then I'll use a very light beige color to highlight the edges. And that'll just give us a little more depth. Here I'm thinking about where my light's coming from. So I just hit these edges here with a little bit thicker dry brushing. There we go. So it gives us good shadows. I had a little friend growing in my wash. It's a little scoby, a little bacteria. I pulled him out and put him somewhere else. We're gonna use a little burnt umber acrylic ink and water mixture here to just kind of tone down the gray and I'll go over that with some green wash give us a mossy look to it and then some uh, Vallejo rust wash and I'll go over that piece here there and everywhere give us kind of that iron oxide look that we want for our, our granite outcroppings then we're going to do a little bit of uh, flocking on this piece once we get the washes done. I'll let it dry uh, before I do the flocking because I'm going to use uh, PVA glue over this. So I'll just paint that glue on there. Wherever I want a little bit of grass or a mossy area, I'll just put the glue in there. So I'm just kind of being random with it, splotching it on. And I just touch those rocks here and there. And then some fine flocking over top. I'll give that a good coat and then knock off the excess. And then I'll go in with a little bit more uh, coarse flocking to give a little bit more texture to the surface, kind of break it up a little bit. Pretty pleased with this charcoal so far. Uh, it looks a lot like um, tree bark. I know a lot of people use tree bark to do uh, rocky areas. So. I don't know if anybody's ever tried 
hardwood charcoal. Uh, it's new to me, so if it's new to you, use the idea. I mean, it, it really worked out pretty well. That's just some watered down PVA glue and then that uh, medium flocking. I just kind of press it on a little bit and then knock off the excess. Most of my terrain pieces I spray with a matte varnish and that kind of locks everything down. There's a little grass clump. So I'll use grass clumps, lichen, uh, some coarse foliage, some clump foliage. Just sticking pieces here and there. No real rhyme or reason to it. Whatever looks kind of natural. Wherever I think a critter might need a little place to hide. You don't want to go overboard with this stuff because you want to have some playable areas on your uh, terrain. Now if we were making just a diorama then we could really fill it up. A little spot there for my rabbits to hide. And uh, I'm going to give you guys a closer look at this piece. Let me spin it for you. So there it is. The Rocky Spires. Again, I'm pretty pleased with the charcoal. I think I'm going to use this in a few more builds. I love that rust wash effect. That really came out nicely, I think. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any comments for me, please leave them. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, look for new videos coming up. I've got a Kickstarter that's going to launch here soon, probably in another week or two. I'll post a video on that later on. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah.